And while the people of Hawaii had to evacuate inland due to the threat of a tsunami in the Pacific, here at home, a major hurricane was hundreds of miles away from the state. Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing is tracking the tropics as they continue to heat up here in the Atlantic on this side of the country. Yeah, so that major hurricane was actually hundreds of miles away from Hawaii. Here at home, things are calm, but so far this season, we have had already four named storms, all of them tropical storms. Now, it might seem like we've had a slow start to the season, but that's not really true. So on average, our fourth named storm, remember, we're on our fourth storm now with Dexter, typically forms August 15th. Technically, we're about 10 days ahead of schedule. And while we have not had our first hurricane yet, again, that's not really all that unusual. We typically don't have our first hurricane until August 11th. Now, what we do have is a bit of recency bias because the past few hurricane seasons have been so active so early, but at least for now, we're not far off of where we're supposed to be. So let's check in with what's brewing, shall we? So in addition to Tropical Storm Dexter, this is the area off the coast of the Carolinas as being monitored for tropical development. And odds are now up to 40%. Now the next wave is deeper in the Atlantic. These odds for development are up to 50%. So could these waves possibly develop into some tropical trouble? Now right now, water temperatures are warm enough to support quick tropical development. This eastern wave, however, does have to go through some slightly cooler water before it can really be able to tap into the ocean's heat. Now wind shear, that's kind of hit or miss. So what you're seeing here, these colorful areas are where the winds are strongest in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. That wind shear can tear apart tropical systems. So while there are pockets of higher wind shear, there are also areas where it is also a little lower. And for favorable tropical development is again when the wind shear is lower. Now, Saharan dust. The wave closest to us shouldn't have to fight off that dry, dusty air, but this wave to the east may struggle a little bit as more dust comes off of West Africa. So with our tropical checklist, let's go ahead and go through that. The wind shear, again, it's a bit of a toss up, but water temperatures definitely warm enough and tropical waves we're seeing are definitely significant enough to be watched closely. But that dry, dusty air from the Sahara Desert could cause issues for that far eastern wave. All this to say hurricane season is starting to pick up and it's pretty much right on schedule.